tying a leech pattern. It's quite similar to that slump buster that you saw last time. The only difference is two back to back where I kind of tie it in the center here. Well, it's longer also, much longer, and this keeps this from fouling up on the hook. Also, it makes it fatter, still not super tall, which is exactly kind of how leeches are. They're, they're more fat and long than they are tall. So, let's get started. So this is a size 10 Umqua U301, which is a uh, 3X long shank. I'm gonna start off with some 0.05 lead wire. And make about 10, 11, 12 wraps, somewhere around there. We're gonna go ahead and push that right up into the head. I don't have the right thread. I've only got this 7 millimeter. Uh, it would be a lot better if you had like a 140 denier. So, we are going to measure out our pine squirrel. And we want this to be about two times the length of the, of the hook. We take our other piece, we want to take two and have them roughly around the same size, so we measure it out from that piece. Bring our thread back to the bend of the hook. We're going to tie this in right on the side of the hook shank. And we are going to do the exact same thing on the other side. got this really beautiful holographic flash boot here. I'm going to take three or four strands. Make touching wraps up. that in on the side. I'm going to take one more strip of this black pine squirrel. Alright, once you get that tightly wrapped in, then we want to just start rotating up and try to pull the fibers up or back. See how nice and thick and bulky that head is now. That's just from wrapping as far under there as possible. So just to finish off the tying part of this, I wipe a little uh, head cement onto my thread and then wind in. Then I can do a whip finish on top of that.
now this is the difficult part. I've got a hook here that I match the barb on. All right, so I take it and uh, I put it through one of the strips and then, and then I come through, try to match it up. All right, so once it's through both of those, then I take, I've got a rope here. I just put it through the hook. So then I hang something a little heavy on that and that will just kind of keep that taut. Instead of those two pieces of tail, both moving at opposite directions, we're going to put these two together. I take a bit of wire, wrap two or three times around. going to tie a knot. Wire should hold pretty well with that. Clip off that wire in tight. So those two are now one piece. We'll trim those two to size. 